Hello friends. Today we are. Uh, today's topic is a uh, uh, little different. Today we are going to study Beer's criteria. Today we are uh, focusing on geriatric medicine. As you people will be knowing, geriatric medicine has been neglected for years and years, and especially in India, where uh, it is not a actually a MD subject. So this Beer's criteria basically was developed to identify drugs that uh, that should be used in uh, caution in the geriatric patients because older patients they are uh, at increased risk for adverse effects of all the medications like there will be decreased clearance cognitive and sensory deficits multiple comorbidities there are multiple drug drug interactions and poor drug clearance so we have to be very careful while giving uh, multiple medications to the older uh, uh, patients for above 70 uh, so no no matter where wherever you are working as a registered medical practitioner in India, so you have to uh, keep in mind the regarding there are some certain drugs, uh, there are certain drugs which should be uh, means given with uh, with lot of caution. So polypharmacy is very much practiced is a particular concern in the elderly. It can lead to a prescribing cascade in which additional drugs are given for adverse effects that are misinterpreted as a new medical condition. So you will give all these medications, then the side effects will be there. Then that will present as a new medical condition for which you are be prescribing more drugs, more drugs. So medical management in older patients requires verifying the indications for the prescribed drugs, optimizing the dose or schedule and avoiding adverse effects taken into account all the patient comorbidities. So the drugs are anticholinergics, uh, this first, uh, first generation uh, antihistaminics and GI uh, antispasmodics. The side effects of anti uh, this cholinergic is increased. There will be confusion, hallucinations, dry mouth, constipation. So you have to avoid these drugs. And your uh, cardiovascular drugs, all these alpha blockers and all, they will cause your orthostatic hypotension. So you have to avoid this this all group of drugs. This uh, antithrombotics, central uh, alpha agonists like your uh, uh, clonidine and antiarrhythmics so this this uh, group you have to avoid and cns there are tcs and all these drugs will cause sedation so you have to avoid tcs antipsychotics barbiturates benzodiazepines in elderly and uh, the, the, the sliding scale insulin and sulfonylureas which cause hypoglycemia though so this drug group also more than 70 you need to uh, avoid as much as you can and for pain and all this muscle relaxants this all will also cause sedation so this is very important geriatric medicine is uh, sub what is really uh, very much neglected in our country so i th thought this uh, making this video this bs criteria uh, it, it can come in uh, entrance exam also so uh, like and share share this uh, uh, video as much as you can among your friends and uh, support this channel i will be posting multiple videos uh, so that uh, it will be helpful for you okay thank you